for this thing. 30,000. And I still like this thing to this thing. This is 35. This is 30. 35, 30. And I still love 35 or 3,000. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl be Steph, and I'm back with another video. If it's your first time here, if it's your first time to see this face, please don't make your last kind of subscribe to all those good stories of us as you guys to do whenever I post a new video. And if it's not your first time here, hey loves, thank you for coming back to watch another video from this damn cell. From the title of this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys a makeup beginners kit there are still a lot of people out there that are struggling to get it right with their makeup they are literally starters okay so i'm going to be showing to you guys an affordable makeup beginners kit and believe me i decided to use every product i'm going to be mentioning in this video on my face so you can see that from the beats of course it is really good if you are interested to watch please do keep on watching when it comes to makeup of course the first step as they always say is the base and when i mean the base i mean the skin work you have to make sure to prep your skin properly before applying a makeup because what you do before applying the makeup is what determines how the base when i mean the base is your foundation your concealer and your powder is going to sit in on your face and i'm just going to be telling you guys that yes there are quite a number of expensive products out there but as well there are quite a number of affordable products out there and what i used for my base in this particular look right here of course is the pond lasting oil control you guys this is a very quite affordable product this is how it looks like it comes in this small cute container it is so cute at the same time it has a lot of things in it see i've been using this for over a year now and i can tell you for a fact that it is good it helps prep my skin it helps to also control oil from my face if you're someone that wears a makeup for a very long time let's take for instance anytime i want to film this is what i go for because i know that i don't want to be looking oily when i come out on the camera so this is a very good makeup starter kit for it serves as primer for me and also a oil control it is so so good so once you get this right your base right you're good to go i also use the jordana primer face primer sometimes i mix the two of them together this costs three thousand naira this costs four thousand five hundred and i can tell you for a fact that this one will last longer so i would say for starters you should go for this one because this one is quite you can see that it's quite small and yet it's very very expensive so this is a face primer as well but i'm not going to tell you guys to buy this one if you're starting because it doesn't last like in terms of the quantity it is so small so once you get your base right you're of course going to look for a foundation that is going to look good on your skin because i know that when it comes to foundation getting the right foundation can be a struggle but you guys believe me the brands that people hardly talk about are the brands that are doing a lot of good work out there and i'm talking about the classic products when it comes to classic i have used classic in the past and i will say that i do not like it but their improved version is so good like this foundation on my skin is classic like it is classic and classic is just three thousand naira three thousand naira it is so affordable see classic is a very very good foundation i don't know why people don't talk about it so as a beginner i would say that you should go for classic but i also have the um super stay maybelline full coverage foundation this costs seven thousand naira okay but classic costs three thousand naira and when i say that i prefer classic to the one of seven thousand naira you will not believe me classic blends in so well in the skin the only thing i'm going to say is that they should just improve in the darker version of their foundation it is not so dark the way that when you use it on a dark skin person it is not so good but i'm talking about like when it comes to price range affordable classic is so affordable super stay is a very good product as well seven thousand naira is quite affordable as well then i have the zikel pro coverage foundation which is also really nice but 
I'm gonna say it right here. This Zikel, it is matte. Like, the matte finishing is something that me personally, I don't like because I don't like my makeup to be matte. Like, I don't like it to be matte. I just like a dewy look, as you can see. Like, this is a very simple, clean, dewy look. So, Zikel, and this Zikel cost me 4,500. So, in all the foundation I have mentioned right now, classic that I still say I prefer is the least expensive one and i don't think i'm supposed to be showing you this because this is not in any way affordable this is mac studio fix foundation now this is not it this foundation is almost thirty thousand naira for this thing thirty thousand and i still like this thing to this thing like i still like this thing this is three five this is thirty three five thirty and i still love three five or three thousand so this is to show you guys that it does not matter the price yes so they will tell you that uh, quality high end is also good and all blah 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 i will still stand that when it comes to my foundation game i will tell you that i love i love i love me some classic foundation i think that they should even sponsor this video because i've made a lot of people to buy classic makeup after your foundation of course we are going to look for the affordable concealer out there and i will keep saying that when it comes to concealer la girl pro has been doing a good job they have been like since i started knowing about makeup la girl has been in the market and they have been doing a very wonderful job like a very wonderful job so la girl pro is it's affordable it's affordable i'm going to say very fast it's affordable it costs 1900 that's how much i bought this one that is these two cost me almost three thousand so la girl you just need two shades you just need the one for your under eye and the one for your contour and personally i hardly do cream contour that is why you can see that this one is still a bit a bit full why this one i'm running out of it already so if you don't want to buy the contour one you can as well just go for the under eye on you need to go for two shades lighter your concealer should be two shades lighter than your foundation so that it will brighten up your under eye and just make you look shiny good and alive okay so la girl pro concealer is a very good concealer another concealer i love or i will say i like is the zaron concealer this is how it comes in it is just in this but this is quite expensive i think i got this for 2500 yeah if i'm not mistaken yeah 2500 so early girl is still affordable this is i'm trying to give you guys an affordable makeup kit so i would say for beginners for starters just go for early girl pro because it is easy to blend you don't want to go for a concealer that is not easy to blend or will dry in fast on your face and then you struggle to blend it out but early girl pro is very easy to blend it absorbs into the skin and just give you a very clean sweet finish it is not matte it is creamy like literally very creamy so as a beginner i'm always going to advise that you should start with easy accessible things and i'm going to say that when it comes to your powder see for the longest of time i'm not a fan of setting my face like all this dramatic baking of the face i don't like it it just makes me look cakey so as a beginner avoid baking so that you don't look like a corpse that they molded avoid baking because baking if you don't bake right you're going to be looking cakey so avoid baking and always try like there are a lot of good powders out there but as a beginner that doesn't have a lot of money i'm always going to say that you should gravitate towards palettes like this you guys can see that this palette is begging me to like finish it i love this palette this is the black opal eight in one powder palette you guys can see that i have used this palette to its finishing i also have the la girl eight in one palette and you can see that they are like begging me to stop because it is that good this will serve you a lot it will also provide for you your contour your contour color is going to provide for you your regular color this is what i used to use in setting my face in baking my under eye i don't bake i just use a lighter color to like set my under eye and yeah that is why it's like finishing so as a beginner it's advisable to just go in like to go for all these eight in one 
or 16 in 1 palette is much more affordable than just buying single single palette this palette i can never forget this palette cost me just 2000 naira so i bought the two for for 4000 naira these two palettes here this 2000 this 2000 so total of 4000 naira but if you feel like you have money as in you can afford buying it separately separately it is fine i have here my flawless ivy matte press powder and i will tell you for a fact that flawless ivy they know what they are doing it is a very very good powder this is how it comes this is flawless ivy powder it is very good and when i mean very good it means that i am almost done with it it is so good this right here cost me three thousand naira. so do you guys see that this is just giving me one color of powder and it is more expensive than the one that is giving me eight in one i literally have a highlight powder i have a contour powder and i have a normal press powder so gravitating towards this one is if you have the money i also have my mary Kay press powder <laughs> mary Kay is very expensive oh. this small tail right here is four thousand naira this is how it looks like so of course a beginner this is not advisable don't do this or don't do this just go for it in one so that you have everything in one okay and your kids will just be looking good there are also other brands that have it in one we have tara eight in one sometimes 16 in one like i would just advise that you just go for four in one eight in one 20 in one 25 in one if there's something like that than to just go for single products that way you will economize money and you will have everything without spending or breaking the bank when it comes to eyeshadow i don't have my eyeshadow available here because my makeup is just here and i'm picking it one by one showing you guys so i don't have my eyeshadow available here but zaron i'm zaron eyeshadow perfect zikiel eyeshadow and they range from three thousand to five thousand but as a beginner um, i'm still going to say that you can always use your contour if you don't have money for eyeshadow this is a trick you can always use your contour powder as an eyeshadow then with a sweet eyeliner you literally have a brownish smoky eyeshadow going on on your face do you know that this is a trick i used to do if like if i leave my eyeshadow somewhere or i'm not in the mood for eyeshadow i just use my contour and just rub 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 and then a wing eyeliner and i have a matte brownish look right there so eyeshadow zikel have very good eyeshadow zaron have very good eyeshadow and yeah three thousand four thousand but as a beginner this trick Bet me you will spend nothing and you will still be achieving unless maybe you want to start playing with colors which as a beginner please cut it down with the color cut it down with the color okay when it comes to brushes of course brushes are very they are very expensive you will see a single brush costing two thousand naira yes zara their foundation brush up to now I've, i don't have that foundation brush because it's expensive two thousand i know i know i know i have i literally have Mary Kay brush foundation brush and this cost 2000 what am i even saying i'm going to give you a sweet good suggestion if you feel like we are buying single single brushes is expensive which actually it is it is better to always buy sets and another good place to buy brushes is from aliexpress see when it comes to affordable stuff cutting down things aliexpress should be your friend aliexpress should be your baby these are one set of brush i love so much these particular brushes have at least all the necessary brushes you're going to need aside from a b powder brush and a foundation brush so this have this is your normal concealer for your eye pencil this is what i use in baking or setting my powder like you just do it like this do it like this and i'm good to go this is eyeshadow brush all these brushes are so good and sweet and guess what this brush cost me 1900 and something naira approximately 2000 naira yes i can remember it very well because i've often made a video on these brushes like in an aliexpress haul i also have another brush i got from aliexpress haul i'm going to be starting the images right here so that you know that when it comes to brushes buying it in the market and all these branded brands 
<laughs> all these popular brands can be very expensive so just make aliexpress your friend when it comes to getting good brushes and also getting good eyelashes as a beginner if you know that you want to be fixing eyelashes i can see i hardly fix eyelashes but aliexpress have very very good eyelashes like this eyelashes here cost me 1300 and something it's not up to one five but if you go to like a store like a big mall or something you're not gonna buy these lashes for anything less than five thousand and i'm serious on that or even online store these lashes is going to cost you more than five thousand it's going to cost you a good amount like i sometimes i will see five in one five thousand that is one one thousand each of course i literally forgot the next thing you're going to need as a beginner is your brow pencils this brow pencil is what i used on my face of course and this cost me just 150 naira this is the davis brow pencil they are so good please i don't see any reason why as a beginner you should be spending 1000 naira on a common brow pencil just go to your near supermarket you see this brow pencil 150 naira last last it will be 200 naira so because you're still starting never forget when i started trying to learn how to draw my brows i bought two eye pencils this kind of eye pencil i bought two and i exhausted it without even getting it right so yes as a beginner just gravitate towards this simple divas is it davis davis brow pencil and it is so good it is pigmented it does the job like it gives you like see i'm telling you see everything on this face is just every product i literally mentioned then for our lips of course there are good lipsticks out there um we have the classic good lipstick this is the classic nude lipstick this one is a lip gloss lipstick this one cost me 500 naira and you can see that it is it is a good lipstick every classic product i think like that comes like this should be 500 naira see i say classic should sponsor me soon i use their product a lot classic makeup usa so mascara we have branded mascara and we have your regular mascara that are not really popular out there so mascara you can go away with like 500 naira mascara this mascara in my hand is 500 naira this one is one five and believe me i don't know the difference because they do the job okay there are some products that you're not supposed to spend particular amounts because of you're trying to buy it okay so all these few things i've mentioned can go a long way to start up your makeup journey and another good thing about aliexpress is that you can actually get affordable makeup sponge this is what i call makeup sponge ignore my dirty makeup sponge because i literally used it to paint i literally use it for this makeup so this is it always buy like aliexpress have soft makeup sponges so these makeup sponges it came in i think six in one this is how it came in it is six in one it came in this pack see make aliexpress your friend it came in in this bag this is it okay i gave my mom one i gave my sister one and i gave my auntie one so i am left i think it's six and one or five and one i can't remember but yes and this cost me 600 and something and i'm always going to be starting a picture so you guys will know that indeed or you can go on to watch my aliexpress haul in case i do not insert the picture because sometimes from editing we forget so aliexpress is a go-to place to buy some affordable product like when it comes to your makeup brushes your makeup sponge your eyelashes make aliexpress your friend okay if you want to be fixing lashes you guys i have tried thousands of lash glue out in the market and i can tell you for a fact that no one works for me than the classic guys it feels like classic is sponsoring this video but believe me they are not but i believe soon they will classic lash glue super hour lash glue is the best like literally i love this is how it looks i love it so much so if you don't want to struggle when fixing your lashes as a beginner this will go a long way and this cost me 500 naira or so i think so 500 naira so all these i have mentioned and the price listed you can see that you can start off a good makeup with little to no spending this is like budget friendly makeup beginners kit everything i've mentioned is tested it is trusted you can see my face this is it all on my face so all you have to do is to use your head 
and then believe me you're going to be rocking a clean makeup without spending or breaking the bank so with all this being said thank you guys so much for watching hope to see you guys in my next video please do to subscribe like share comment bye loves bye